As we've looked at our statement of faith, we've been thinking about the human race. Human beings are wonderful because we're all made in God's image, but we're also terrible because we sin against God, just like Adam and Eve did. Our sin makes us God's enemies. So what do we need? Let's have a look at some different people and I'd like you to think about what they each need. Here's one. Ha, huh. I know who this is and he needs a haircut. Here's another one. Hmm, looks like this person is being rushed into hospital on a stretcher. It's hard to tell exactly what he needs. Probably a doctor could help. How about this? Oh no, these people need help. Their house is on fire. They need someone to come and rescue them. Hmm, these children look like they live in very poor conditions, but it's hard to tell exactly what they need. They, they might be hungry. They certainly look like they could do with a wash. What about these people? Do they need anything? It's not always easy to tell, is it? But the Bible says there's something we all need. Every single human being on earth. Even someone who looks like they've got everything they need. We were made to live as God's friends, but we've sinned against him. So our statement of faith says, every person is therefore under the just condemnation of God and needs to be born again, forgiven and reconciled to God in order to know and please him. We haven't got time to think about everything in that statement, but let's focus on this bit. We need to be born again. That's what Jesus said to a man called Nicodemus. Nicodemus was a religious man. He did lots of good things. But Jesus said, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. Nicodemus asked, how can someone be born when they're old? Surely they can't enter a second time into their mother's womb to be born. <laughs> Nicodemus was confused. Did Jesus mean we literally have to go back into our mummy's tummies and be born again? No, of course not. He meant that our problem is so bad that the only way to fix it is by completely changing us. We don't just need a bit of help. We don't need a fresh start. We could never deserve for God to forgive us. We could never be good enough to be God's friends. We need to be born again. So how can we be born again? Well, the next section of our statement of faith is about Jesus Christ and the one after that is about salvation. But for now, we could turn back to John chapter three where Jesus met Nicodemus. One of the most famous verses in the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. If you want to be born again, believe in Jesus. Here are some twins. They look exactly the same, but if one of them is a Christian and one of them isn't, there are some huge differences between them. One of them doesn't believe in Jesus, the other one does. One of them is guilty and will be punished for their sins. The other one has been completely forgiven. One of them is God's enemy, the other is God's friend. One of them is spiritually dead, the other one has been born again. One of them can't know or please God, the other one can. Which one do you want to be like? I know I'd like to be the one who's been born again. So let's pray now and ask God for his help. Lord God, thank you that you are always just. You always do what's fair. We know that we deserve your punishment because of our sin. We don't just need a bit of help, we need to be born again. We want to be forgiven. We want to be your friends, reconciled to you. We want to know and please you. Thank you for sending Jesus for us. Please help us to believe in him. Amen. Oh,